going to call the meeting of Tuesday, July 18th for the Rainier City Council meeting. The first thing on the agenda is the Pledge of Allegiance. Accept the account balances, distribution ledgers, and financial statements for general liquor and water sewer funds as of 6 30, 2023. I'll make that motion. I'll second. Got a motion and a second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion carries. To approve contract continuation with the uh, costing group. I'll make that motion. <coughs> or I'll second. And a motion and a second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion carries. To allow the Rainy Lake Community Orchestra to use Rainier Community Hall 813 through 813 through 813 through 818 2023 for its yearly rehearsal and concert. I'll make that motion. Second. Got a motion and a second. All in favor? Aye. Motion carries. To approve temporary off-site liquor license to Cantilever Distillery, LLC. I'll make that motion. Second. Got a motion and a second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion approved. Um, to accept Rainier Day donations from Wagner Construction for 200, Wood Ports for $100, Service Master $100, and Manco Trucking for $150. I'll make that motion. I'll second. And a motion to second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion carries. To accept $6,000 donation from the Rainier Rec Club. Make that motion. I'll second. Got a motion to second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion carries. To approve ordinance 163, the administrative ordinance procedures. Everybody had a chance to look that over? That just adds, adds more stuff to our, for our blank stuff. Is what that is. So we need a motion I'll on that. that motion. I'll second. Got a motion and a second. All in favor? Aye. Motion carries. To accept June 2023 liquor store operating statement. I'll make that motion. I'll, I'll second. Got a motion and a second. All in favor? Aye. Motion carries. To approve variance from front yard setback regulations for 3572 Town Road 415. I'll make that motion. Second. Got a motion and a second. All in favor? Aye. Motion carried. To deny conditional use permit for 2103 County Road 116. I think we have Mr. Yes, we, here. we probably need to make a motion first and then we'll have open discussion. I will abstain from voting. What's the motion? To deny the conditional use permit. I'll make that motion and I'll second. Got a motion and a second. Any discussion? You're welcome to come up. All right. I'll okay. your mic is on. Yep, he's all ready to roll. All right, um, so I wasn't here at your last meeting last week, but uh, uh, so the vote was uh, three to one. Uh, it was turned down, basically. Um, we went back and, uh, and looked the whole thing over again. And so what I came up with is uh, most of the, most of the items on this list are, 
uh, are for traffic um, in the area and around the area. And um, there, basically there's not going to be any traffic in and around the neighborhood. Uh, if you guys want to look at the zoning people want to look at the pictures here that I got, but uh, the, uh, <clears throat> there's only going to be one entrance uh, in and out of the property. And that would be um, across from Badooks. Um, let's see. Yeah. I thought I had these on there. So, so. Okay, so mm, you're the zoning part, right? Okay. So here's my uh, southern boundary looking east. Uh, at the Dukes. Um, that post right there, whatever it is, right there, that, that's the line. Right there. So where is it? Where is it? <clears throat> Get that 
without but the yeah, zoning change. He had support of the neighbors who won't necessarily have to change the zoning because if we do that, that would open it's up the whole plan than, of work. Okay, yeah. okay. Because we could just do a conditional. But I guess there's two ways we can do it. Either Mr. Fisher goes to the neighbors and explains to them, and they come back to us, or we'd have to have a public hearing with the neighbors here and talk about it. So that's, I think that's the only two choices, right? Yeah. yeah. So if you can go from neighbor to neighbor and talk to them and explain to them exactly how it's laid out, that might be an easier route than having another public hearing. Because did you have a, like, did you have, did you present that when you went to the zoning committee, like the fencing? I, I, did, I did bring up the fencing. Yeah. So, I mean, maybe. Except for uh, one other entry to the north. I think that's what everybody was concerned about. And I don't need that entry to the north because of, the whole plan was to have everybody come out this, out the southeast entrance anyway. And so that's what I, I had. I got all kinds of pictures showed up of of, uh, of what it would look like. The <clears throat> outside. This is the outside of the neighbor to the southwest. That's the fence that's like right now, and that's to continue on right on onto the road. For the gander, there's a few other businesses in the, in the neighborhood that are running without, uh, I'm pretty sure, without permits as well. Um, I mean, if you have concerns and whatnot, you know, certainly bring them to the city and we'll mm -hmm. to you. Okay, because I mean, you know, it's like, are there going to be extra vehicles and boats? Park on the county road, and it's like, no, everything's all self contained inside. So it's like, nobody's even going to know anybody's in there unless they come peeking around the fence. So if you go over here to. The thing of it is, Tim, it's meant to be kept residential. And that's probably the way it's going to stay unless uh, you go in for the zoning variance. And uh, to be honest with you, uh, we like to keep it residential. Well, I, can tell you. I hope that we go over and tell the people that are looking out of their homes and stuff from garages that maybe they need a permit too. But, that is it. You know, it'd be it too, yes. Uh, but uh, the thing is, sure, is we're not going to allow any more. Uh, okay. And those guys there, they need to do something else. Because when I first came here and I brought it up, and everybody said, well, yeah, Rainier needs more RV park, more, RV, more space. Yeah, you know, um, there's not a space space right there. Where well, you um, got little kids playing and you know who they are. I know, but the, uh, it's all going to be blocked off from them. Uh, people that That's just because they got a fence there does not mean it's going to keep them in. Well, no, but I mean the people that, that I can screen whoever's coming and going. Or I mean, go down here. Pretty quiet in RV parts. It's the way it is right now. Up to the we the ah. I recommend that you finally maybe talk to the neighbors and see how they feel about the enclosed part. 
And we could always bring the issue back up even at the next uh, committee of whole in a month. Right. So, let's, so we could probably we just, can we just table this until? So he already made a no, motion. No, already made a motion. Yeah. Do you want to update that? I don't think we should until no, don't think we should the movement with the neighbors. I mean, you can always, right. nothing, yeah. is, is, nothing is ever set in stone in every It's not set issues. in stone, just have to get the neighbors um, uh, on board, I guess. Be the, and now if they see that it's all fenced in, maybe that's a different deal. But well, he said that the last the, yeah. the other day, so, um, so I think I would highly suggest that you talk to your neighbors, number, number one. I'm sorry, what was I, I think that you, you should highly talk to your neighbors. Okay, well. Okay. And see if you get support. That could be a whole different game. Huh? But at this point, we have a, a motion on the floor to deny until. So we'll have to take a motion on that. Any other discussion? We did it already. All of, all of Traeger. We haven't voted on it. Yeah, we did. Yeah, we did. Yeah, we did. Oh, oh, we did. Mm -hmm. right. Motion carries. But that would be the recommendation is to talk to the neighbors. Okay. Moving on to water and sewer, East Coot Sewer District rate increase. This is something that Councilor. I saw that. I read through it and stuff. So, does, what is the increase going to be? Um, well, it's for the East so it's not for Rainier, right. it's for New Rainier and Jackfish and Island View. And it's our, my sewer bill went from $97 to $142. Yeah, mine went from $94.50 to $142. Wow. Yeah. $42.50 and $44.50. Yeah. 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 Monthly or quarterly? Quarterly. Which is what, every three months? Yeah. And so I spoke, when I spoke to, um, them up there. Um, of course, the, the East Coots was not, the sewer was not included when it was annexed in, when that area was annexed in to Rainier for some reason. I've got a couple different stories as to why the sewer was not annexed in when it, along with it. So. Right, because it wasn't, it was never going to be annexed in. Yeah. So, they built it and Rainier didn't build it. It's, right. Their sewer. Yeah, because that was built before the annex. Way before, was it? Way before, because my sewer line is like 30, right. 30 years old that runs super Right. It was put in with top spot property, so it's about 30 years old. But the, the issue is the that, of course, the that the um, yeah. certainly they put it in the paper yeah. when they um, had public we meetings, about that. but um, they never informed the community or the residents of the, that the increase was going to be this large. And so this is this is crazy. Yeah. Well, what are we so doing I'm gonna try to well I'm gonna try to um I have to get all the states again. Because you were stuck we were sat in the four partners. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like our infiltration was nothing. This all boils down to that A and E problem they have. Right. And the illegal discharge and that A and E problem. Yeah. They're fixing all the mammals and it's hundreds of thousands of dollars. And they hire, have to hire uh, a new staff person. And, and so you're that. saying it is what it is? Well, we've gone to the district, we signed with the district, we're responsible for the bills they think, and they're under the MPCA rules to clean up their A&D. &E. That's their biggest yeah. additional cost. I mean, there's ever since that uh, illegal discharge you had and they've been fixing their animals ever since I mean, we had what six of them we went through and fixed six they've got i think there's 90 of them and john's not here but i remember they talking have, to them about this thing about 90 of them they got could, they have, could they have spread it out over the whole district instead of just one section they did they did they they did that's everybody but it's expensive yeah, they, they are engineering, they do infiltration tests. You know, they've been doing this for, what, three years? Three years. Since they've had a problem. Yeah. Getting a bill every month from somebody. <laughs> you know, all because of lack of administration. You know, you should check the professional insurance and see what caused that. 
So it still goes back to there's nothing we can do about it. Well, they've got you in here, Todd. <laughs> we can't form our own district. No. 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 I'm kind of rocking hard, but. So I just wanted everybody to be aware of that. And if you want more information, Cheryl, you can come to Cheryl and print out a copy, a copy for you if you want it. Um, and hopefully maybe the job can get you on the information because you certainly um, I didn't receive this information and so um, if somebody wants it, the information so they can read it and understand it. why their bill went out. Um, right. We'll have it available here at, at yeah. the office. I'm going to look into it a little bit farther, but because it's, you know, 40, I mean, 40, yeah. 50 bucks every quarter, every three months is that's $150 a year. Oh, yeah. So, you know, we're talking. Yeah. That's a big that's a yeah. job. Okay, let's move on to open forum then. Anything on open forum? Motion to adjourn. Second. We got a motion and second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion carried.